Word. Matter of fact, we got to finish that joint. Mm-hmm. That shit with me and Jigs, because that album is almost finished. Already know it's going to be fire. Ooh, we got some shit on there. I ain't going to lie. Mixtape at it. Mr. Edit, you bitch. I've been crying. Hey. Yes, sir. So, yo, it's King Flow, Mixtape Addict Report, Shortcut Edition. Today I'm with the legend, Shabam Sadiq. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. Mixtape Addict in here. How you doing, bro? Yes, sir. Chilling, man. In uh, here working. For sure. Always working. I fling balls for fun. A lot of rappers get hung. Even the ones with the most confidence get these balls stung. But I most poisonous lyricists leave your arm numb. For reaching for some dap for my man to collapse lungs. When I bake like a kick, man, y'all cats can't get a crumb. And this red velvet swag of back chicks for fun. I squeeze across the skin. On the shit, he glad he got me fed. Now we need a doctor to stitch his cred. Talk shit when he is soft as an airbed. Your coat fantasies not entertaining to me. Probably never seen a brick dick. You talking crazy. I'm going to ask you the first question, bro, the mixtape patty question. Who's your all-time favorite DJ, man? My all-time favorite DJ, I would say, is um, Red Alert. The bridge is over. Ah, oh, man. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. Bye bye. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. Hey, hey. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. Bye bye. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. You see me. Okay. And why, why, especially Red Alert? I mean, you know, when I was younger, I used to listen to Red Alert and Mr. Magic, and I used to go back and forth. You know what I mean? Between those two, those are my two um, shows that really introduced me to a lot of new hip hop. And then, you know, Red Alert is is one of the first DJs to break my stuff on the radio mm-hmm. during the daytime. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, I got a little loyalty over there. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Got two, man. Yeah, those two shows, they used to play a lot of the shit that made me want to write rhymes. You know what I mean? Those so, two yeah. guys right here, man, that's, that's God level. You know what I'm saying? Legendary status, man. Yes, DJ Red Alert, salute. Mm-hmm. It's crazy because the first time I was on um on um Sway in the morning, I was rhyming back and forth with his son. Okay. And I didn't know it was his son until later on. Like, yo, that's that's Red Alert's son. That's yeah. crazy. Fake up seeds and promoters get samurai chop. Leak two pints of plasma on a black top. This that black op, special teams get rock. This that concrete uh, ass for hard uh, rock. Just took a shot of handy, flick the switch for lighty. Lightly how the floor lift the soul, swear my shit almighty. Hell yeah, and when, when was the first time you heard about a mixtape, bro? Back in the days, early 90s, man. You know what I'm saying? I used to get them G World of Pro joints. I used to get the Ron G joints. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All kind of mixtapes in Harlem. Do you, Definitely. Do you have one in particular that you know that really shocked you in your life that you really love? I used to love the Ron G joints. It's mixtape King Ron G, New York City, around the world. You know, because he was he was real versatile with it. Yep. You know what I mean? He used to have a hip hop and R and B joints. He used to make them remixes. Yeah, he the man. one who actually, yeah, he made those remixes mm-hmm. popular. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie, as far as like straight hip hop, though, doo had that shit though. Shoo, hell yeah, hell yeah. Doo Wop was doo-wop nice makes the mic, you know what I'm saying? Ninety five yeah. live, yeah. Yeah, this is crazy. crazy. And what's your relationship with uh with the DJs out there in New York? Like, are they pushing the, the underground artists at all? I mean, you know, I got a good relationship with a few DJs. I mean, it is what it is. I listen to what they put out. You know what I'm saying? I service them with records. Yeah. You know, if they like it, they play it. We keep it moving. Mm-hmm. And you personally, as an artist, uh, where do you find the, the inspiration to, you know, stay consistent and, you know, keep that drive in you, keep releasing videos, music? Where do you find the, the inspiration to do that, man? I mean, shit, I live this shit. You know what I'm saying? Since a teenager. So mm-hmm. it's only natural. It's like, you know, it's something that you do naturally. Yep. You yep. know? Yep. That's how I, that's that's how I stay in me. You know what I mean? I'm, I immerse myself in the shit, in the art form. You know what I'm saying? Everything, even the art, even like the physical art. Like 
this what my my room looking like oh you think what i'm saying that's fire right there so everything that what it is, is you, oh, you do that yeah that's these are up. some of my paintings you know what i'm saying damn 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 okay I see in, the, in the midst of the studio it, it, it all you know what i'm saying they all come together mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying the merch that's all cool. that shit. so basically you know i'm immersed in this shit. Yep. you know and i feel like i feel like fashion and 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 barbering you know what i'm saying is like the fifth element of hip-hop you know what i'm saying exactly. it's the silent element but you mm -hmm. know how you look plays a major part man okay. fashion and haircuts you know what I mean? yep, yep. Word. and the best hip-hop discussions take place in the, in the barbershop and the barbershop <laughs> the barbershop is the center of the neighborhood like you know if you want to find somebody that do sheet rocking for instance you know what i mean you go to the barbershop you're trying to get a connect on some you know whatever you go to the barbershop so yeah yep. i'm kind of like immersed in the whole culture hey, do you think that that culture is missing in those times right now where we only listen to hip-hop but a lot of people don't really understand the culture behind it yeah but you know as as things evolve you know people take pieces of a culture and make other cultures Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? So you can't be mad at that neither because some people weren't introduced to the whole thing as a package. They were introduced to just rapping. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they were introduced to, selling drugs. You know what I'm saying? They got that part of the culture. Some of us got everything. You know what I mean? Yep. We was there for everything. Yep, yep. We was there for the graffiti and the dancing and everything. Some people only, you know, they came in at this point so they taking it run with it from there i ain't mad at them I just, it just is what it is yeah it is what it yeah. is but you 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 are lucky to you know be there from the you know from the start and see all this shit. yeah yep. i was lucky to see all that shit, park jams and shit that's almost you know non-existent now especially with COVID and all that yeah, yeah man that shit, that's some bullshit, bro especially with with COVID and that crazy situation so how did you do to you know, maintain and keep your, your fan base always listening to your shit, even if you're not doing shows, you feel me? Because out there in Europe, we don't do shows. Oh man, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, my last tour was in 2018 with, with Razzcast and um and Ed OG and, and Focus. I've never asked a slave master to make us free at last. I break cocoa bread with my dread, cause he bled. Like Dred Scott, the only good cop is a hot side. You know what I'm saying, which was cool. So since then, you know, it just been little spot shows here and there. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it was it was good for me. The timing, like, not that COVID was good for anyone, but it was kind of like the perfect timing because, you know, I'm a barber, so I got to focus on, you know, my business, opening my business and getting it off the ground, as well as working on music. So we we was talking about businesses because you told me you know you're a barber, you do art. And you also got the, the fashion line, uh, Marvio, right? Yeah, Marviel is my 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 startup um, clothing line. Okay. Trying to take it to the next level, and then you know I'm gonna open a, a, a store, a clothing store. Okay. You know, so I'm gonna have Marviel, and then I'm gonna have other stuff, other designers, as well as some polo. Okay. You know? So what all do you, you know, do? Mix you, it up. You do everything, like from ads, hoodies, everything. I see you got the hoodie on you yeah yeah i'm testing our product you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying i got the whole suit on right now but okay. i'm just testing out stuff like you know i'm doing like dad hats and hoodies and different textures and t-shirts and, mm -hmm. and colors and just feeling what people like the most yes sir or whatever people like the most you know i'm gonna I'm make it stick and who's you your who's your favorite entrepreneur you know you're an entrepreneur yourself but who inspires you in the <coughs> type of things a lot of entrepreneurs i mean all of them you know what i mean everybody who who came up doing their old thing uh the jay-z's the master p's the you know what i'm saying all the entrepreneurs yeah, yeah. word i take a little bit from everybody i'm trying to learn yep yep definitely for sure for sure hey, yo let me ask you a question bro if you had to go to a studio session with two producers to make an EP for a weekend, you know what I'm saying? A few days in the studio. Who would you choose? Two beat makers, two producers. Mm, me and my boy was just talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be 
um Diamond D. Okay. And um D-I-T-T. Large D-I-T-T. Professor. Queensbridge, where stars are born. On the map, Marley Mall put me on. I was able to return the favor for his neighbor. Chronicles of bullets caught up in chambers. That'd be great. Diamond D and yeah. Large Professor. That'll be that'll be fire. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ooh, that should be crazy. Hell yeah. yeah. Gotta make that shit happen one of those days, man. Mm-hmm. Nah, Diamond, you know what I mean? I'm cool with Diamond. Word. I'm mm-hmm. cool with I'm Large Professor too. You know, it's just, you know, when it when it when it presents itself, you sure. make it happen. Yes. Another person I would definitely love to work with is, is P Rock. You know what I'm saying? We cool too. But you know, it's like the time and the place. For sure. It's always yeah. my- so it's always all to find the right timing, you know. Yeah, because you know everybody, everybody out there working and and, yeah. and reaching for what works for them. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, so when it works, it works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, and are you? It's, okay it's good to put it in the air, though. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. You gotta yeah. let them know. You know, gotta let them know. We never know. It might happen one of those days, man. And are you aware of the the European hip hop scene? Do you listen to any music from outside the U.S.? Um, some, yeah, some, okay. you know, the people that I work with, like, you know what I mean? Lewis Parker, that's my man. Okay. You know, um, Starlight over there in Holland, I, I fucks with her, that's my home girl. Okay. You know what I mean? A, a few different people out there, you know what I mean? The mm-hmm. Snow Goons, yes, definitely sir. when I be out there. Yep. I'm on a Clockworks album and shit. Okay. Yeah. No wounds are fire, man. German. Yeah, no question. Folding them up like polos in my clothes drawer. Shred your rhyme style like cabbage in a coleslaw. SS is snow goons, authentic hip hop. Manly style, no skirts or tight jeans. Yo, right now. You know DJ Duke, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. died. That was my man. You know what I'm saying? We did a lot of videos and and joints. You know what I mean? Before he died. Yep. Through the test of time, I perfect my grind. You can press rewind if you feel like you could relate to this. Yeah. If you make it to 80, that's 30,000 days alive. Not enough for me, so I just keep looking ahead and strive. Yo, if you had to, to, to pick three words to, the, to describe your music, you know what I'm saying? Describe yourself as an artist. What would you say, man? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I would say energy. I would say eloquence mm-hmm. and i would stay stylish okay okay yeah that's good. That's, that's a good answer too <laughs> you know what i mean but it's so many words man I, you know intelligence uh, impeccable you know that's a matter of fact that's what it say right here on the clothing Ooh, line that's fire impeccable right you know what i mean okay. yeah, ethics mm-hmm. you know there's so many one word answers to that that can yep, for sure, you for know sure. fit in there yeah like it's like 10 minutes after the interview you're gonna be like damn i wish i could say that <laughs> <laughs> i use all these words daily you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. even even on the on the clothing like those that's what you know gets me motivated certain words mean heavy things you know what i mean i just splash that on a sweater like ethics to me was like you know that was something I wanted to do because I took the E on in my clothing line. I took the E from Epic. We know Epic don't got no fucking ethics, but it was like a kind of like a play mm-hmm. on the word. You know what I'm saying? Epic ethics. You know what I'm saying? I flipped it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It made it in Mets colors. But yeah, words like impeccable and ethics, you know, those are heavy words. Yeah, and talking about word plays, bro. You know, we, yeah. like, we like to play with words. What, what's your top five lyricists right now? My top five. It's hard for me to pinpoint top five lyricists because, you know, say you know this 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 conversation happens in the barbershop all the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a five a top five lyricists for so right now. Any right, type twenty one. You know what I'm saying? Like, actually. nah, it's it's hard for me to do that because I, I got top five lyricists from the eighties. I got top five lyricists from. The 90s. I got top five lyricists in uh like the conscious wave of, of music. I got top five gangster lyricists. You know what I'm saying? So it's just hard for me to pinpoint top five of all all these dope ass MCs from the past and present and future. It's kind of hard for me to do. So I don't really get into those 
Okay. So I don't pinpoint that shit like that. Yeah. Okay. So let me change my question then. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's your playlist looking like right now? What are you listening to? I wish I could actually flip through it. I listen to so much shit. I ain't talking you know about rap. You know what I'm saying? It can be any type of music, bro. Yeah. All, all that shit. I got Curtis Mayfield in there. I got Al Green. Oh, a long way from here. I got Nas. I got, you know what I'm saying, up to new shit like Fleet Lord or... I'm paid out the ass to gauge out the stash. No more counting money, we just wear it out the bag. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A lot of my low life brothers, you know what I'm saying? I got some low Vox in there. I got some, you know, a lot of artists in my playlist right now, you know what I'm saying? Have you heard the new DJ Mugs in Rome Streets? Yeah, I listen to that shit. I fucks with Rome Streets, you know what I'm saying? Fine. Yeah, I fucks with Rome Streets. I fuck with that whole Griselda wave. I like, um, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, Match Hami and, you know, that that whole wave. Um, I like uh, Rock Marciano. I like uh, Hus Kingpin. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you for mentioning that dude. You don't get the yeah, power well, that he deserves, bro. Gun troll, desolate dreams, desert eagle squeeze, mutilate bodies I bleed, and keep the bezel clean, bitch fuck anything green. I like, I like Willie the Kid too, Willie the Kid's me, you know what I mean? I, I, think, like, I, think I, I like a lot, my, 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 my playlist is all over the place because when shit run across my screen, like, you know what I mean, and I like that little piece, I always go download people whole albums like um, RJ Payne, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, the is fire, bro. So it just depends. My shit is all over the place. I think the last thing I was listening to was um um AZ and my shit that the um I found my niche. Switch gears, fucking with peers, they out of town. Packed up, blue for a year without a sound. Came back, reappeared, it's going down. And what I seen was a whole lot of kings that lost their crown. I, Yo, I, got, to I got a hard question for you, like a really hard question. You ain't gonna like this question. <laughs> so, who's the best lyricist between Nas and AZ? Mm, that's a rough one. Hell that's yeah. a rough one. <laughs> I think they kind of cancel each other out, man. They both they both dope and they both along the same line and they came out together. I mean, it's hard to choose between them two. I really feel like they should have did an album together. Out of anybody, yes. Nas and AZ should have did an album together. It's crazy, you know the, the chemistry that they had together. Yeah, all the songs that they got together is fire. Mm -hmm. Especially the back and forth ones, like the one on um, Stillmatic. What was the name of that song? Oh. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but they was like Camacho and Vargas. Who's the target? That joint right there. I'm a they always me. going going together. You know what I'm saying? Life's a bitch. I mean, come on. That's yeah. the first shit they did together. That shit is incredible. Life's a bitch, and then you die. That's why we get high. Yeah, Tell people what, should check for that. What you got going on right now? I know you you working like a motherfucker, man. You always working, dropping some shit. What you got going on right now? I got a couple joints. You know what I'm saying? That's like 90, 95 percent done. Um, the Cabin Fever with Nick Wiz, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm working on, a, my thing this year and next year is I'm working on whole joints with one producer. The last one I did was the um, Precious Stones with um, J57. Cool, somewhere drunk in a saloon. Bust a bottle over your head, think you a cowboy. Glass all in your eye, you cry blood boy like stick model. Are you ready to carry the cross? Knock it off. Like a pair of cities, ball, motivated the good I can't get enough. Yep, yep. I got a um I got a whole joint with Techzilla that I'm working on. I got one with PA Dre, the same dude that um produced for uh RG Payne. It's like 90% done. I mean I got a lot of joints, you know what I'm saying? And do yeah. you do you think that doing an album with just one producer and one MC can, you know, make your skills come bigger you know in the studio you feel me you understand what i'm saying not for me it gives you a, a certain sound if you if you got a, a album with a bunch of producers on it then you know it's really basically the soundscape you pick that you wanted to come together all these people but i think it's it's more cohesive and it gives you a specific sound when you work on a project with one it's a it's a total difference so you know, up until recently, I always done it like that, like different joints from different producers. 
Now I'm trying to do it with one producer so I can get that one solid sound out of the motherfuckers. Like Keepers of the Lost Art, I think was like one of my best projects. But you know, like five or six of them joints, Lewis Parker did. And it was a certain sound that he gave that that dusty SP sound. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, so I want to do shit like that. I want to do, you know, either whole EPs or whole albums with one producer. And that shit can take you far away. Like you've seen what happened with Freddie Gibbs and Optimus, man. They got nominated for That's right? what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. Even the shit he did with Mad Lib, like, come on, yeah. man, like. It's going to be a history piece. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't gotta stop I forgot there. to mention. I forgot to mention. Tell me, tell I forgot me. to mention that, that project with me and, and John Jiggs. I'm a killer. You fucking with a psycho MC. Fucking with the kid I have your life on empty. I'm a killer. You don't want to say the wrong thing. I'm going to turn you to an angel. I'm handing out wings. I'm a As a matter of fact, you got a joint on there. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, um, DJ Goblin produced a joint on there. Um, Tone Spliff produced the joint on there. You know, he got a few heaters coming. Hey, yo, do you have any last words of advice, bro, for the young artists out there that want to follow the same path, you know, as the legend Shabam Sadiq? What could you say? Well, I was having this conversation with one of my young boys the other day, and I was telling him, like, with the underground, you know what I'm saying, or with the independent, I would say, which is a better word, you know you got to cross your t's and dot all your eyes like you know what i'm saying you got to make sure that you registering your shit with with bmi ascap you got to make sure you registering with sound exchange you got to make sure you know what i'm saying your shit copy written you know what i'm saying you gotta you know just cover everything you know what i mean yep, yep. word up so when it's time to collect them royalties you know what i'm saying you ain't broke For sure. word up and, and stay on your craft hard and Yep. And make sure you follow through. Yep. And be an entrepreneur like yourself, being, you know, saving different. Oh, yeah, that's all part of it. You know what I'm saying? Crossing mm -hmm. your T's and dying your eyes. That's the entrepreneur shit. You yep. covering everything. So every little bread that comes through, you know what I'm saying, is, is at your disposal. So, yo, what can we wish for you in 2021 and 2022, you know, for the future? Um, Just a lot of releases. You know what I mean? A lot of musical releases, a lot of clothing releases from Marvial Apparel. Matter of fact, go to MarvialApparel.com. Go to ShabamSadiq.com. Yes, sir. You know, I got a clothing store that I'm supposed to be opening within a month or two. Okay. You know what I mean? So expect a lot of clothes from a lot of different designers. You know, a lot of new paintings, art shows, you know, just covering my my range. Yes, sir. And next time I'm going to New York, you know, I'm going to check out the check out the shop, get the bill. No, no, I'm not in New York. Matter of fact, I'm in GA. Okay. I'm in I'm in I'm in Kanye's GA. That's where I'm at. Okay, yeah. that's what's up. That's what's up. You know, I ain't live in New York in like three, four years, man. I had to, you know what I'm saying, expand. Mm -hmm. But okay. You know, doing shit out there too. That's what's up. You always gotta expand your business, man. That's what's up. Yeah, man, you gotta move, you gotta migrate. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then come back to New York and do do different things. You know what I'm saying? The way you yeah. want to do it. Do you have any last words for the mixtape addict people watching, bro? All over Europe and everything? Like I said, ShabamSadiq.com, MarvielApparel.com. Um, follow me on all my uh, all my social networks. ShabamSadiq, everything. Right. ShabamSadiq, Facebook. ShabamSadiq, Instagram. ShabamSadiq, Twitter. Everywhere. You know I mean, I'm there. Yeah. For sure. Word up. Hell yeah. So, bro, thanks for your time, my man. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Peace. No problem. That was King Flo and Shabam Sadiq, Mixtape Addict Report, Shortcut Edition. Peace out, peace yeah. out, bro. Yeah. From the ghetto to the suburbs and back to the ghetto. I'm stellar. My story ain't no brass and metals. Sam Thurl lays the backdrop to beat the kettle. Heavy metal rap shit, nigga, yeah, they bezel. The stress don't get to me, dogs. I'm giving them stress. I'm the name that they mention because I pen it the best. S.